Item number SCP-3774 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-3774 have been located and terminated. Any backup blueprints or files detailing the creation of additional instances of SCP-3774 have been deleted or destroyed, only saving the original copies for file storage. Description SCP-3774 was a prototype for a genetically and cybernetically modified subspecies of mosquito initially created by the Foundation to covertly survey persons of interest. Instances of SCP-3774 were bred to pass bioengineered augmentations onto their offspring, as well as produce a successive generation of 90% female individuals. Note, due to the blood drinking capabilities and longer lifespan of female mosquitoes. The augmentations themselves granted instances of SCP-3774 the following properties. Photo recognition, live video and audio broadcasting, access of a self-contained genetic database, emission of a signal that would show its global positioning location. Instances of SCP-3774, when shown an image of a human subject, were intended to seek out the subject covertly. It would then use its proposes on a human subject it believed to be a match to the subject shown, and consume a small portion of its blood to analyze for a genetic match. Once a genetic match was found, the instance of SCP-3774 was intended to remain within proximity of the subject broadcasting the video and audio feed of the subject until the foundation retrieved the subject. While well, most tests with instances of SCP-3774 proved positive, the introduction of adaptive vocalization, note, for distractive purposes if necessary, to them caused an unknown error to occur. When an instance of SCP-3774 consumes the blood of a subject, regardless of whether or not it is a genetic match to the subject it is intending to find, it attempts to communicate with it, often expressing infatuation. In most cases, instances of SCP-3774 have tried to cut subjects with primary negative effects. Once this error became known to the Foundation, all instances were located and recalled, where they were studied in an attempt to repair the malfunction. After further trials, the error itself was discovered to be unfixable. All instances were promptly terminated. Any video logs recorded by the instances have been stored for research purposes. And the level 3 credentials to access. Access granted. Below is a series of select video logs recorded by SCP-3774-2432 after locating a subject believed to be POI beep. However, it was later determined to be a false match. The following offense have proven to be a rare case, only occurring in two other occasions. Begin video log 3774-1. 2432's camera view is a apparently from the top of the subject's bookcase. 2432's camera displays the subject lying on his bed, awake. The room the subject is located in is poorly lit. Hello? The subject quickly sits up in his bed and looks around the room, apparently panicked. Is someone there? Yes, hello. Where are you? How do you get into my house? The subject turns on the lamp on his nightstand and stands up from his bed. I'm, um, I'm a ghost. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Can you just come out, please? I say, please, I'm being polite. I, I told you, I'm a ghost. Yep. The subject is now searching under his bed. I'll call the cops if you don't come out, missy. And I don't want to call the cops. No, don't, please. He's, I don't want you to get into any more trouble. There are already people who know I'm here. The subject emerges from underneath his bed and stands up straight. People who know you're here? 
What's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me you're an escaped convict or something. No, God, no. no. Don't worry about that. Just forget I said anything. Look, miss, just come on out and tell me what's going on. No, I can't. Not now, anyway. <sighs> Fine, stay hidden. Could you at least tell me what's happening? If you don't, I will call the cops. I don't care what's going on. I, I'm embarrassed. Of what? What's so bad that you literally broke into my house? Because it must be pretty awful if that's what it came to. No, no, no. It's weird, really. <laughs> I heard a lot of weird crap in my day. Salmon clogging up toilets, kids getting stuck in dumpsters, all sorts of nonsense. I doubt that you have to say it's going to be weirder than a salmon in a toilet. Well, I work for... God, I shouldn't be telling you this. Work for what? Are you a spy? Are you spying on me? No. Well, not at first. I was meant to find some big scary guy that worked for this other organization, but like, I confused him with you. Jesus freaking Christ, you're a spy. I'm not spying on you. Then, then come on out and show me your face if you're not spying on me. I told you I can't come out. I'm... I'm doing this remotely with microscopic drones. Then cut whatever signal you have then. If I'm not the guy you're looking for, get out of my house, please. I just want to have a good night's nice sleep for once. I... Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. 2432's view shows it leaving through a window and landing outside on the windowsill. As it turns back towards the window, it shows the subject, still standing and shouting, telling... 2432 to leave. After approximately six minutes, the subject gets back into his bed and turns off his lamp. God damn it! God! Why did I have to be so creepy? Why did I have to just screw it up this fast? I just wanted to get to know him. The subject apparently falls asleep one hour later. At this time, 2432 re enters the building and lands on the nightstand facing the subject. I'll try harder next time. I'm sorry. 2432's camera view shows it flying up towards the subject's bookshelf and landing, and turning to face the subject once again. Extraneous footage expunged. Begin video log 3774-4. 2432's camera view shows the subject entering her house through the front door. 2432 is apparently on a light fixture. Uh, hi again. What? No, don't worry. It's just me. Who? Wait. No, 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 no. You're supposed to leave me alone. I got nothing worth spying on. I'm a janitor at an elementary school. I got nothing. You're a janitor? You help people keep things clean? Yes, just a janitor. Not a shady janitor that works at some sort of spooky government organization. Just a normal ass janitor. I heard you, I heard you. That's really kind of you, actually. At least I think so. Being helpful to all of those kids and teachers and such. What? Well, um, thank you. Wait, you still need to get out of my house. I'm... God, I guess I need to say it out loud, don't I? He's, my heart is pounding so fast. Um, what are you going on about? I'm not here to spy on you. I just really want to get to... I really want to get to know you, okay? God, I knew that would sound weird. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll just leave. You're right. Wait, you just wanted to go know me? Yeah. But you work for some big government, don't you? Couldn't you just look me up? Why go through all this song and dance? Because I'm not supposed to be getting to know you. I'm supposed to be finding some other guy 
but I just really want to get to know you a little better. You wanted to get to know me better, me. You realize who you're talking to, right? I mean, that's what I want to find out, really. Um... All right, fine. But you have to let me get to know you, too. You know where my house is. Just, I don't know. Come here in person? Let me see you face to face. No, I mean, no, not yet. I'm too embarrassed. Christ. Okay. Could you at least tell me your name? I, I haven't got a name. I just, I was just called 2432 all my life. Oh, great. The kind of shady organization that raises spies as kids doesn't give them real life. Wonderful. Well, uh, what do you want to be called then? Because I don't intend to call you 2432. Um, I don't know. What's a good name? Christ, you'll make me choose for you. Mm, well, you sound a lot like Leslie Karen. How does Leslie sound or less? Who's Leslie Karen? She's an actress. She's older now, but in her heyday. Man, was she a catch? Starred in American in Paris. One of my favorite movies, let me tell you. Oh, okay. Leslie sounds nice then. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice to meet you, Leslie. I'm Merle. Nice to meet you too, Merle. Extraneous footage expunged. Begin video log 3774-14. camera view shows the subject eating a microwave dinner while watching the 2012 film adaptation of Le Miserable. The subject is sitting on a reclining chair in what appears to be his living room. 2432's view is apparently on the armrest on a separate reclining chair. Now, I don't know what you can see right now, but you better pay close attention to this part. This part with opening always makes me tear up a little, and I expect you to tear up here too. Okay. 2432's camera view changes to exclusively the television screen the film is playing on. The camera shows Ebony, note, as played by Samantha Box, singing to Marius, note, as played by Eddie Redmayne, as she dies from gunshot wound. What appears to be crying is heard from the subject. At this point, 2432's camera views changes back to the subject to fish we seeing him crying. That was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it was. She loved him so much despite him being in love with another. She still put her life on the line just to keep him safe. To keep him happy. It's truly beautiful. I know. Silence between the subject and 2432 for three minutes while the film continues to play. Many? Yeah, less. Has anyone ever cared about you like that before? What? I... I don't know. I would hope so. I... I really just don't know. I haven't been in many successful relationships, so I can't say that for sure. But I would hope at some point, at least one of them might have cared about me that way. I'm sorry, Merle. Nah, nah, it's fine. You don't all need to be in relationships or happy marriages to live a good full life. I mean, it'd be nice, but you don't need to. I've gone along just fine without one. No, oh, I guess that's true. I've never been in a relationship either, and I'm apparently doing pretty well. I mean, I've met you, and you made me the happiest I've ever been. <coughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. Never mind. Uh, what do you mean by that? That I've made you the happiest you've ever been? It's... Look, I've only known you for a week and a half, but you make me really happy. I love watching this movie with you. 
I love how you just care about the kids you work with. I love just everything about you. But I don't know you can't love anything about me back because if you did, then it won't last. Silence for approximately two minutes. Subject then stands up and turns off the television. You mean a lot to me too, Les. You don't have to say that to make me feel better. I'm not. I haven't seen your face, and I know that you're an incredibly lovely, kind, caring, and empathetic person. You choose to be joyful when I want to be sad or upset about something. You always find the goodness in people who see only the worst in themselves. These last few days have been just the best few days I've had in a long time. You really mean it? I wouldn't be saying it if I didn't. Thank you, Merle. Are you crying? <laughs> oh, shut up. It's just an emotional moment. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. So, what does this mean for us? What do you want it to mean? Well, unlike it to mean that we might have one of those useless happy relationships you mentioned. That sounds nice. A perfectly useless, happy, wonderful relationship. Extraneous footage expunged. Begin video log 3774-23. 2432's camera view shows the subject pacing in his bedroom. 2432's camera view is from the subject's bookshelf. Why do you still refuse to show me what you look like? Because you would hate me if you knew what I look like. I don't judge relationships on looks, Les. I don't care if you look like Richard freaking Nixon. I will still love you for who you are. Will you please show me something? Come to my house and let me actually physically see you okay? Or don't, just mail me a picture of what you look like. I just want to know. But, but why? If looks don't matter, why do you need to see me? Because I know what catfishing is. Maybe some kid is pulling some sort of prank on me, and this whole time my reactions have just been recorded for some prank blog. Man forces up his little boy, watch his face when he finds out. That'd be the headline. If I were catfishing you, I wouldn't have dedicated so much of my life to just being with you. Dedicated so much for your life. We've known each other for three weeks. And I took two weeks to find you. And I live for one more after this. What a freak. What's that supposed to mean? It means... It means... What a freak kind of organization do you work for? Are you some sort of android? Have I been talking to an AI all this time? No, 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 not an android. Then what? Who are you? What are you? I'm... I'll be right here. Fine, I'll be waiting. You won't have to wait long. 2432's camera view shows it flying from the bookshelf and landing on the subject's bed. I'm on your bed. Be careful, I'm small. Wait, what? Subject turns around, looking at the bed. Where are you? I'm... I'm the mosquito. The what? Subject continues searching the bed until it looks directly at 2432. Oh, <laughs> way to make me feel even worse. I'm not lying. You said you were using drones. This is probably just one of those drones, right? You were just trying to trick me. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm being honest, I'm just a mosquito. I lied about the drone's part because I thought it'd be more believable than a mosquito that could talk. Well, you're right. Drones are more believable than a mosquito that talks. Prove to me that you're the mosquito. What do you mean? I don't know. Do something that only a mosquito could do. Bite me, suck your blood out or something. Um, okay, if you want. 2432's camera view shows it flying towards the subject, landing on his shoulder. Then it extends its proboscis and proceeds to bite the subject, consuming some of his blood. I hope this helps prove something. I don't know what, though. Uh, I don't know what it proves either. But 
if you really are a mosquito, I am a mosquito. Let me finish, please. Sorry, if you really are a mosquito, it still doesn't matter to me. If this is what you are, well, I made a commitment to you. You're still the lovely, kind, caring person that I've been talking to and watching movies with and thinking about while at work. I just have to readjust a few fantasies I have about us getting married and having kids in order to accommodate the fact that you're a mosquito. You okay with this? With me? I really did mean it when I said looks didn't matter. Except I did lie about the Richard Nixon part. If you end up being Richard Nixon, that might make things a little weird. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I kissed you if I could, but that probably just make you itchy. <laughs> oh, that's true, but why not? You have and have anything to hide anymore. Go ahead and kiss me. Well, okay. 2432 extends his professors and bites the subject a second time, consuming more blood. Extraneous footage expunged. Begin video log. 3774.30 2432's camera is disabled for reasons currently unknown. The entirety of the log is audio exclusive. The sound of a door opening is heard. Hey, Les, I'm back. Silence for approximately three minutes. Leslie? Silence for approximately twenty seconds. Leslie, are you still here? Yes. Leslie, where are you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Are you trapped somewhere? I don't know. Oh, God. Wait, has it been a week already? I don't. Oh God, oh God, oh God, it's been a week. Rick! No. Leslie, can you please just tell me about where you are? What was the last place that you remember flying to? Living room. Living room, living room, living room. There you are! Some subject footsteps become louder. God, please, don't go like this. Please just... Just stay with me one more day. I've never loved anyone so hard as, as I have with you. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. You did nothing wrong. Just please stay with me. Please. I have an idea. An idea to keep you alive? No. Wait, just say it. Please. Anything. No. To help you. Help me. Remember me. What do you mean? Have kids. Have what? Have kids? But how? Lay eggs in you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eggs? Inside me? Yes. That's... How would that even work? It'd still be more mosquitoes. Your blood. My blood. This doesn't sound like science anymore. This is goddamn magic. Trust me. But what's the point of having kids if we don't have a mother? I'll be with you. No, you won't. You'll just be dead. I, I don't want to live without you. Melly, don't let me leave you this way. You... God, you're really trying to pull at my heartstrings. Please. Silence for approximately ten seconds. Okay, I'll do it. I'll have your kids. I'll have our kids. Thank you. I love you, Leslie. I love you, too. Extraneous audio footage redacted. The subject was recovered on September 28th, beep, three days after the event recorded on video log 377430, with a large mass growing out of his thigh. When such being removed, it was discovered to be four living human fetuses, which will henceforth be designated instances of SCP-3774-A. 
skin samples taken from each instance of SCP-3774-A discovered that while they appear entirely human and are genetically the subject's children, 30% of their genetic makeup is identical to that of SCP-3774 instances. Over the course of seven more days, the instances of SCP-3774-A became the biological equivalent of a human infant. Further observations have shown that rabbit aging has ceased since reaching this stage. This is the only confirmed instance of an instance of SCP-3774 successfully mating with a human subject. The subject had been administered a dosage of Class C amnestics and gave them sufficiently altered memories in regards to its experiences with 2432, specifically regarding the fact that 2432 was a mosquito and that her relationship lasted approximately one month along with an entirely new identity. In addition, in order to monitor the natural growth of the SCP-3774 instances, he and the four instances have been moved to a Foundation-approved neighborhood in Beep, West Virginia, where they will be monitored discreetly.